You know, there's a very trendy thing in YouTube where people like to create these videos on five essential rituals, five key tools that I cannot live without. So I thought I would do kind of a cliche little video. Five maybe lesser known tools or rituals or things that really are essential in my daily life that make it awesome. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now I've included down there below a free goal setting worksheet. So if you click that, it's gonna help you plan out how to have an epic year of your life and the exact habits and the rituals to do that. You'll also get an email every few days of a free email course on goal setting. So the first thing I cannot live without is for sure Evernote. I shared this personal goal of mine to read the top between 25 and 50 relationship books and one of the reasons I love Evernote is because for me, I'm like an archivist. Like, I like archiving things after I've taken notes. So, for example, I go through my relationships document, and I have in order of the books I've read on relationships, a link to each document, and each one of those is a link to a couple-page summary of the book and the most essential, most important points. So now, if I need to refer to it on my computer or my phone or my iPad, I can do it really, really quickly and it's always there, it's super concise. The second thing for me that's always essential is an analog journal, AKA a notebook. One thing that I've noticed that a lot of people do when things aren't going well or they're trying to figure out the strategy for their relationship or for their business or budgeting or saving money or earning more income is I found that writing things down tangibly on a piece of paper is far more useful to prevent that mind overwhelm and the monkey mind and the stress and the anxiety, just taking 30 minutes to write out something on a piece of paper, what the problem is, what the plan is, what your daily rituals and daily habits are gonna be, just by doing that, there is such a deep feeling of peace and relief that comes from that, as opposed to thinking it all in your head or having it digitally somewhere on your computer or somewhere on a journal or something. Writing it down is a great way to get peace and anxiety out on paper. My third daily essential is Puar tea. Now, you've probably seen this in my videos before, but my favorite thing in the morning, if I have a two hour break before class or working on my business, is that I sit down for two hours, I do my first most essential time block that I have to work on in my business or for studying, whatever's the most difficult one. And I sit down and I pour this Puar tea. And for me, it's just the ritual of making something with preparation, and then specifically being a beverage you sip. So like tea is not something you ever really chug. You don't really try to get you know caffeinated or high from it. So it's something you sip slow and you really try to savor. And it puts me in that slow, savor, ponder my life mode. There's no rush to get all this work done. It's gonna be there tomorrow. My fourth essential is a portable whiteboard. You've probably seen it in my videos behind my desk. But the primary thing that I use my whiteboard for is tracking what are my main goals for the day, the week, the quarter, or the year. And because it's right there behind my desk where I'm always working or I'm always studying, I always can keep an active log of what my progress is and what my rituals are that I need to be doing to actually reach that goal. So the whole point of it is having a visual reminder all the time of what you're working towards because then you're a lot less likely to drift or do things that are not really in alignment with your goals. So a portable whiteboard right behind your desk. Now the fifth thing building off the whiteboard is actually a marker for writing on your mirror in the bathroom. So not only do I have the whiteboard behind my desk, I have a marker that I just leave above my mirror in the bathroom and I've written down, you know, one through seven or nine, what my missions and my current goals are. And it's just another way of getting that repetition with the vision you wanna build. Right, so you see the whiteboard, maybe you have a habit tracking app or maybe you have a call with a friend or you personally review your goals. But just the very act of, I'm brushing my teeth twice a day, I'm washing my hands, I'm using the bathroom, I'm taking a shower. When I go in, I force myself to pause for 30 seconds and just read my goals, my visions, and my dreams. And it just adds another layer of accountability to something that could easily slip by and be yet another goal that I don't review until the new year. So I hope those five things are things you guys can investigate and see if they help you. Again, I've included a free download there below for how to plan out your best year ever 
It's a free worksheet. You can download it there below. And then come check out my last related videos right over here.